Today, I'm gonna open up a total of eight boxes. All these are my comic book pickups for the month of January 2020. So I kind of have a habit of letting my boxes stack up on me. It doesn't matter if it's liquidation pallets, Funko Pop mystery boxes, sneakers that I purchased, collectibles I purchased, comic books I purchased. I just had this bad habit of letting things just stack up for a while before I actually crack them open. So I was going through a lot of my boxes. I'm like, you know what? All these are from January 2020. So all these, most of them are purchased from eBay. Most of them. I think I got one from DA Card World. Another one from, I think it's called uh, Comic Tom 101, who has a very popular YouTube channel for comic books. He has his own version of a mystery box that he likes to do called the Mystery Mail Call, I think is what they call it. So we're going to get right into this, and I'm going to show you all of my eBay and other pickups from January 2020. So first one, this is from eBay. And I, like I know what's going to be in these boxes, but I don't know which box is going to contain exactly which comic, of course. Except for like a couple of them. So open these things up first. The seller wrote XXXXXX all along the tape. A little different, but okay. That's kind of got me curious now why the seller did that. Sometimes sellers can overpack items. This is an example of overpackaging. The point where if I'm not careful, I'll actually will damage these comic books unpacking them because they're almost too packed, if that makes any sense to anybody. So yes, this is, I picked up two copies of this from the same seller. This is Dark Red number one. This comic actually was recently optioned for a TV series, Dark Red. I have never read this, but I know it has to do with vampires in middle America in kind of like the Midwest and uh, I figured I might as well pick up a couple copies of this comic just in case um, being optioned doesn't mean it's guaranteed to be a TV show or movie just means it's been optioned it's been picked up by somebody by either a company a, a creator of a show and I got both of these for I think it was around like 15 16 dollar shipped so Fantastic deal. I had to pay. It was pretty much it was cover price plus shipping. So I was very happy with that first pickup. But this one was picked up off of eBay. Yeah, I had to very, very carefully pack this one. Uh, there was so much tape wrapped around there. I had to so carefully um, undo it so I didn't damage the comic trying to get it out but yeah this is a black hammer number one that i picked up off ebay i'm thinking i paid like 35 40 bucks for it or so i think plus shipping if i remember correctly this has recently also been optioned um i think either a tv show or a movie i don't remember which one but uh i got the uh the alert that this has been optioned recently and i found one for a pretty decent price it looks like to be in phenomenal condition so pretty happy about that and yeah another pretty nice pickup right right there i'm actually going to do this one that is in the gigantic box okay this one is i purchased from da card world which is uh, a supplier of uh, like sports cards and uh like i used to buy from them a long time ago probably like 10 15 years ago maybe Back when I used to kind of dabble in sports cards just a little bit. And I was on the website. I saw this one. I got it for a pretty good price. So I decided to pick it up. So I actually already had this, this comic in a raw copy. That's a pretty high grade, probably like 9.4 to 9.6. But I went ahead and they had this thing for a pretty good price. I actually contacted them too and asked them. Uh, I actually sent them an email with the offer on it and they accepted and I ended up walking away with this comic and nice for $375.
I know that might sound like, you know, I paid quite a bit for a pretty modern Spider-Man kind of comic, but this comic, Ultimate Fault number four, released back in October 2011, this is the very first appearance of the new Spider-Man, Miles Morales. So a lot of people, uh, like, people who are like young today, teenagers, kids, a lot of them identify with Miles Morales more as like their Spider-Man. That makes any sense. Um, so as the current crop of younger people start growing up, Miles will kind of be known to them as like their Spider-Man. And Miles is actually very, very popular in the Spider-Verse universe. And so I'm actually going to try to pick up some more copies of, of Ultimate Fault number four, um, some more 9.8s and some more higher grade raw copies if I can find it for good prices. I'm probably gonna pick it up and kind of invest heavily in this single comic um, just because I think the potential for this thing in the future, even 10 years down the road, 20 years down the road, I think this thing could be a pretty valuable comic in the future. Could I be wrong on that? Yes, I could be wrong, but I just have a feeling the prospector inside of me, the reseller inside of me, has a good feeling that this version of Spider-Man, the one that a lot of people are going to want as they grow up and grow older into adults. They're going to want this Spider-Man. Next, let's actually do another one of the larger boxes. Now we're getting to the point now, honestly, where there's only like one box here where I have a pretty good idea of what's in it. Everything else, I'm not too sure exactly which comic is in each box. But we're going to find out. Now it is. There we go. Thor number 337 graded 9.8 CGC white pages. The first appearance of Beta Ray Bill. This is also the newsstand version, which is what I wanted, is the newsstand. It's harder to find the newsstand version as a 9.8, in my personal opinion. I could be wrong on that, but from uh, looking at completed sales, it's much harder to find a 9.8 newsstand. This next one should be from the Comic Tom 101 YouTube channel, who I pretty much watch all of his videos. Uh, pretty much every single one he puts out, I watch it. Mystery Mail Call. Geek Responsibly. And this is supposed to have an exclusive Thor number one cover, exclusive to, to this Mystery Mail Call box. And I think this box is around 30, 40 bucks a month, something like that. And you get a small stack of comic books. So this will be my first time subscribing to this comic book service. And yeah, that's one of the ones that I wanted really bad. It is the, the variant Thor number one available exclusively to this mystery box from that from last month. And it is now sold out. So hopefully you secured yourself one of these covers. Cool. So then, with this, you get a small stack of kind of like mystery box comics, and they could be pretty much almost anything. So the first one was in here is Venom Lethal Protector number four. This is a limited edition print numbered 656 out of only 2,000 from the Esslinger Art Gallery. We got Fantastic Four number 280. This is a 65 center. A pretty nice one. Condition looks pretty good too, probably like a 9.0, 9.2. Next we have Enter the Lost World of the Warlord. Next we got Batman and Detective Comics number 617. We got Doomsday Clock number 4 of 12. But the main one that I bought it for is for this one, the exclusive Donny Cates pretty low print cover. Very nice, and this copy of this one is insanely high condition, 9698. So very, very nice, very happy with that. So that was my first ever Comic Tom 101 mystery mail call. Next, another eBay pickup. Do a little fast forwarding here also.
So I got two here. I have Batman Beyond, number 25. This is, uh, what is this one? Uh, this is the first appearance of the, oh, Batwoman Beyond, I think it is. I think it might be correct. I could be wrong on that. And then also Batman Beyond, number 317. I think this is the first appearance of the character in the Batwoman Beyond costume. But I think this is the first appearance of the female who plays it in this one. And this is the first appearance as a civilian, and then the first appearance in Batwoman costume. So I picked both those up. Both these books are going pretty hot right now. They're, they've been churning now for, for weeks. So I went ahead and picked those up. I've already got the Batwoman number 40, which is the unmasking of her. So I want to get those just kind of like, you know, round out the whole three of them. Next one, also from eBay, I'm pretty sure. Let's go ahead and fast forward to the unboxing this one too. This is Red Mother number two. This one is the variant cover of it. That I'm pretty sure I ended up getting this thing for around ten dollars shipped off eBay because my uh, I got this the common cover from my local comic book store by one of the variant cover. So I went ahead and just picked it up off eBay for pretty much retail price plus shipping. So happy with that condition of this thing looks perfect from the naked eye at least. Okay, so there's one box left. Yeah, that last one that was the easiest one to unbox. That was <laughs> that was the easiest one to unbox. It didn't take 15 minutes to unbox with all the excess packaging that's not really needed a lot of the time. Because whenever you overpack your comics, you're risking your your buyer possibly damaging your comics trying to unpack it because there's so much tape and bubble wrap and packaging. You know, sometimes too too much is not a good thing when it comes to certain items. It's not. So there's gonna be one of those packages, I think. It's gonna take me a while, so. Fast forward. Okay, it is free. This is one of the bigger books that I picked up in the month of January 2020. Always try to splurge every month on at least one comic book, and this is the one I chose to splurge on in January. Captain America, number 117. 9.0 white pages. Origin and first appearance of Falcon, Sam Wilson, in Red Wing, Red Skull appearance. But anyway, pretty much you, the, you want this because it is the first appearance of Sam Wilson as the Falcon. And they're coming out on Disney Plus with uh, the Winter Soldier and the Falcon here pretty soon. So uh, this book might be seeing some spiking once that comes out. If it becomes a major hit show... I wouldn't be too surprised to see this spike up a little bit. But this 9.0, I got this thing off eBay. I think I got it for $850, if I remember correctly. It was, uh, it was either $8 or $850. Because um, I sent the seller best offer. And uh, it was like $8 to $850 that I got this book for. Which actually was actually a pretty good price. It's actually a little bit below what it's usually going for. Condition of this thing, honestly, looks looks fantastic. Uh yeah, it actually looks really good. By the scans that the that the seller had of this on eBay, looking at the scans, I mean it has a few little like uh, spine ticks right here, um, then a little bit of a wear on the corner right there. But if you send this in, if you crack this thing out, and send it in, I wouldn't be too shocked if this could possibly get a nine two the next time. But I'm not going to. I'm happy with the nine point oh white pages. So that's what I got this this time. That is pretty much. All my comic pickups from January 2020, ones that I picked up, not at my local comic book shop, but ones I purchased off the internet, off eBay, off other companies. So, sharing with you, kind of like what I purchased for my comic book collection. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. Every single month I try to buy at least one comic that has some pretty good value to it. You know, I always splurge on use like one comic a month. So, February 2020, I'm still trying to decide which one I'm going to purchase. But I'm actually starting to lean towards possibly Werewolf by Night, number, was it, 32, the first full appearance in Origin of uh, Moon Knight. I'm actually leaning towards possibly splurging and picking up that in like an 8.5 or 9.0. But I'll decide. So anyway, I'll see you next time, and I'm out. <laughs>